Will you do an absorbency test on camera? Like wetting a diaper during a try-on. Can you try the Tiger Bowls unicorns? All right, let me just jump right hey into guys, this. what's up? Is a girl done now? Do you know what today is? No, it's not my anniversary. It's Diaper Wednesday. All right, y'all. I'm just gonna quickly get off this bike and I'm gonna get this party started right now. Today has been a crazy day and I, you know, your girl gotta fit in time to work out. It's, it's hard trying to stay fit, you know? But anyways, I got my questions here and I'm gonna grab a drink and I'm gonna meet you on the couch, all right? So look, for this week, I am not going to list any names and I'm not gonna number these questions at all. I'm just gonna randomly ask questions. So let's just jump right into this. How does your family feel when you started doing the ABDL diaper reviews? All right, that was a really good question. Let me tell you right now, my family is so chill. We are all open-minded and it was just like reviewing anything else. Reviewing adult diapers, reviewing baby diapers, it's the same thing as reviewing clothing. Uh, we're open-minded, they're fine Will with that. you do an absorbency test on camera? Like wetting a diaper during a try-on? Can you try the Tyka Bowls unicorns? All right, let me just jump right into this. No, I will not do an absorbency test on camera because you know I don't wet myself and I don't physically use these diapers. I just try them on a review. <laughs> So that's not gonna and happen. And the other part is, can you try the Tyka Bowls unicorns? I've been trying to get my hand on those and they're not on Amazon. I haven't been able to stumble upon any of those on Amazon. And shipping is a beast. So I, you know, and when I say shipping is a beast, I'm, I'm pretty, guys, I'm really cheap. If shipping is gonna be $12, that's a beast for me. $12 is a lot of money to spend just to ship an item. If an item is gonna cost $10 and for a sample pack and shipping is 12, look, I need to be ordering a little bit more than this and I can't see myself paying $12 to ship a tiny little package that big. What diapers would you recommend for someone who was traveling? Say for instance, going on a cruise. Let's assume not a heavy weather. All right, so if you are going on a cruise, I totally would recommend pull-ups. Anything that's gonna pull up and you know pull down easily. You don't wanna be bothered with tabs and, and having to adjust and all that stuff. Also, pull-ups are going to be, I find them to be less bulky. So when you're trying to dispose, it's going to be easier to dispose. And remember, when you're traveling, if you are on a cruise, the the quarters are so small and the bathroom is so tiny and you're gonna have to dispose of those like two to three times a day i recommend the pull-ups because they're gonna be so compact and easier to dispose of that's just my two cents on that great question let's move on to another Will one you do a review on plastic disposable bibs absolutely i would as a matter of fact, I am trying to find um, a few disposable bibs because I've been having a lot of people ask me about those. So as soon as I can get my hand on it, I will absolutely go ahead and review disposable bibs. I know this isn't an ABDL question per se, but here it is for a personal level, excluding the diapers. Would you still consider yourself to be a kid at heart? If yes, please explain. I. I am totally a kid at heart. Let me just tell you, I am totally, um, I guess that's why my kids love hanging around me because I do the silliest things and I just say the silliest things at times. Of course, I know when to be an adult and I know when to be a stern parent, but life is too short to take everything seriously. So I consider myself to be a huge kid at heart, like definitely. I have enjoyed watching a few of your videos and still checking a few more each day. I thank you for that. I really like how you showcase the diapers based on how you go about daily life or going out in public for a bit. For personal question, if all right to ask, have you ever worn your favorite brand of diaper or diapers to bed every once in a while? Um, no, I have not. I, you know, I review, I don't wear, I just review them and I talk about, I state my opinion on them, but no, I have never worn one to bed. And to be honest, I find the 
plastic back ones, even in my try-ons, they are so warm. I just can't wait to get them off and I have never worn them. Just go to sleep. But that's a great question, all right? I appreciate that. All right, so moving on. Why do you have to do diaper review videos? All right, look, it's not that I have to do diaper review videos. It's that I feel there is a need for them. Parents and adults who wear diapers, I truthfully feel that they need to have somebody who shares honest and open reviews. Even though I don't physically use them, I think that I'm offering a value as far as fit and as far as giving my opinion on function. And why not offer a service? Why not offer something that's going to be valuable to me? I love watching your show. It's a lot more lively and fun than the other videos out there on the subject and you communicate in a human and vibrant way with a great personality that makes the subject more comfortable. There are many adult diaper brands out there. Are you planning on reviewing any of them and trying them on? Brands like Molicare, Unique Wellness, Abina, Abreform, Prevail, or Tense. And do adult diaper companies contact you about new products they're putting out there or do you ever contact them? I would love to review other brands. So it's just a matter of time as I get them in, I review them. Expect more, I will get my hand on more ABDL and medical brand diapers to review. As far as companies contacting me, I consider myself to be a vanilla channel because I'm not fully an ABDL channel. I do happen to have a combination of all types of diapers. I have from babies, toddlers to adults, you name it, I have it on this channel. Therefore, a lot of the ABDL companies they want to work with channels that are for you know 18 plus audiences my channel is unique that um, i am for any audience i am for anyone who whether you have a child with special needs or a baby or whether you're an adult and you are wearing for whatever reason it may be. So with that being said, considering that I am reviewing different types of diapers, I don't have companies out there reaching out to me uh, to review their products based on that. And I'm okay with that. I have no problem purchasing or adding to my wish list a sample pack and I would go ahead and give that a try. And I like doing that because also when I, well, I have a purchase from my wish list, I feel that I can be as honest and open whenever I'm critiquing a product because that company did not send it to me and I am not obligated to be nice for them. I can tell you exactly what I think on the fit or just how it looks. Great question, by the way. How sick are you getting of these cringy role players getting off to the thought of you being their mommy? <laughs> but for real, my question, do you look at other diaper reviewers and or draw inspiration from their experience and video production? All right, look, that's a really good question. Um, I must admit, I'm pretty easygoing and most things I'm okay with just letting it roll and not even paying any attention. So I have learned to have a kind of build that thick skin and ignore a lot of things. It really does not offend me. As a matter of fact, you are the second person for the day to ask me that question. So it really does not offend me at all. And I just, I will either answer or I will not answer at all. All right, so getting on to the other part as to whether I watch other YouTubers and draw inspiration from them, I am going to tell you, I really don't watch other YouTubers within the ABDL review industry part of it. Um, I probably could look at their video productions and that may help me get a little better. I've stumbled upon one or two that was sent to me and most of them are wearing and physically using and it's hard for me to get that connection. But I think I may, because you are the second person that has asked that question. I think you may have been the third or fourth that has asked that question. And so I think I may have to take a little peek here and there just to draw from their video production and see what's going on. That's a very good question. So I hope I answered you. And I think I am gonna start peeking in on other YouTubers just to see what they're All right, up so to. will you do adult diaper videos? I want you to wear it under a sundress. Let me try that again. 
Will you do adult diapers videos? I want you to wear it under a sundress. All right, so look, I, yeah, yeah, of course. I thought that's what I've been doing all this time. Haven't I been trying on diapers? Whether I'm trying on a pull-on or a diaper, I thought that's what I've been doing. So I'm not sure what you're asking. I think I've done a video reviewing or a bulky or discreet under a dress before. Maybe that's what you're asking. You want more of those? If you want more, I promise you, I have more coming your way. So yes, okay, I Okay, so my last question for today. What's the biggest differences you've noticed between medical nappies and AB nappies? You know, guys, my review is still very limited and I've done several medical, which is the not sure, and I've done several of the ABDL. The, I find the cloth back to be a little more comfortable because it is not as warm as the plastic back, and that's just my opinion. But you can find the plastic back and the cloth in medical. I'm not sure about the plastic back, or I'm not sure about the cloth and the ABDL, but again, my reviews, is they're still limited, and I'm still trying to get more products to review. But let me just say again, in all honesty, I don't see much differences between the medical nappies and the AB nappies, but I'm sure as I review more and more products and I compare them, I will see a difference. I, I, I'm sure I will, but for right now, I'm so limited. None for right now. All right, guys, look, that's it for today. I had an amazing time hanging out with you all. I'm going to get back and lift some weights. I'm trying to work my arm and my legs and, you know, just get my body ready for summer. Yeah, I know I'm saying summer and it's January, but I'm trying to get my body into shape. So if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and I will see you on my next video. Mwah. Ciao.